Good morning and welcome to this week's edition of Coffee with a Coach. This morning our question comes to us right here in Germantown, Maryland. And somebody's asking me, how do I gracefully decline a job interview? You know, that's a great question. Before I answer that question, it's probably good to explore what happens behind the scenes so you know where exactly we are in the process when somebody's asking you to come in for a job interview. The way it normally works is that a company has an open position. Sometimes they post it online, sometimes they post it in the paper, sometimes they just let everybody in the organization know and they go out there and start asking for qualified candidates. When somebody sends a resume in and the qualifications on the resume match what the open position is, then the next step is to call that person in for the interview. Now the question was, how do I gracefully decline the interview? Well, that's a personal choice. And I would tell you, if you really have no intention whatsoever of taking that job, it doesn't always hurt to try to do the interview. The reason I say that is, number one, it's good practice. Secondly, when you go in there and start talking about what you can actually do, it's quite possible an organization might say, hey, you may not be a good fit for this position, but I've got something that may work even better. The open position you're being interviewed for may not be what you want to do, but it never hurts to try. So I would say, don't. Go ahead and go through with the interview. On the other hand, if it just really doesn't feel like you should do it, then what I would do is pick up the telephone, don't sit there and write an email, pick up the phone and say, you know what, after thinking long and hard about it, I've decided not to take your time and do the interview, but I really appreciate you considering me for an interview. Okay? Quick question, hopefully a good quick answer, but hopefully it helps everybody else out there. With that, I'll see you next week on Coffee with a Coach.